Ladies and gentlemen of the Shred Game Main Tech.com video, we have some news concerning Intel's Skylake Purdy range of processors. Now, if you are interested in a multi-threading processor, which is an absolute gargantuan of a beast, then this may be the CPU for you. Now, it is targeted, just so we're all clear, towards, let's say, servers or high-end rendering rigs, that type of thing, but... The full-fledged Skylake core will have 56 threads if you count with hyper-threading, or if you prefer, 28 fully-fledged Skylake cores. That, that's a lot. That's an awful lot, as I'm sure you'll agree. Now, the real insanity, however, is that the platform itself will feature up to eight sockets. It will be scalable. So... I'm pretty sure you can start doing the maths on that. You can have hundreds of threads, quite literally, with this uh, range of processors. Now, what we do know about the CPU is Intel are being rather boastful. Now, obviously, any CPU or well, any tech company is going to be rather um, proud of their accomplishments, even if it's only a small increase over the previous generation. However, Despite the fact that, for example, the E5 family is going to have both dual and, and quad sockets and the E7 is going to have up to, once again, an 8 socket design, there are going to be some rather impressive things. So, for example, the Skylight X Pearly is going to be extremely scalable and the TDP configurations are going to be ranging from 45 watts, and measly 45 watts, all the way up to 165 watts which is pretty impressive. Additionally, if you want PCIe slots, well, Pearly has you covered, my friend. It sports 48. Now, they will be configurable uh, in different divisions. So, for example, you could have a 4-slot, an 8-slot, 16 divisions, which is quite, you know, it makes sense and all that stuff. But there is also going to be some large changes to the memory. Now, memory, as you know, is quite simple. We have already started to migrate towards a DDR4 for obvious reasons, primarily bandwidth. Plus, as well, it requires less energy to run, which is obviously a good thing. However, Skylake X Pearly is going to be migrating to six channels of DDR4 as opposed to the more traditional four channels. Now, to put that into perspective, the regular Skylake that you and I are going to be running, let's say the 6600K for sake of argument, has just two channels of DDR4. So we are looking at bandwidth. Lots and lots and lots of memory bandwidth here. Which is obviously a good thing in a server environment. Intel, in the release slides, are saying that Perly is going to provide a significant performance advantage combined with what they consider to be a rich feature set across cutting-edge technology resulting in compelling benefits across a broad variety of usage models. Once again, just so we're all clear, this is going to be focused primarily on enterprise cloud, storage, NAS, that type of thing. So it's not going to be like, hey, this is how to run Quake 15 faster or something like that. But even so, the Perly proposition in terms of performance it's got two times the flops two let me start again 2x flops slash core slash cycle this is using avx uh 512 1.5 times the memory bandwidth as we've already discussed and just generally speaking it's going to be an absolute beast now obviously Skylake itself has had some rather impressive uh, technological advances. Not necessarily in terms of the performance of the chip, but it is better than, let's say, the Haswells, but in terms of the integration and the performance of the motherboards there. We're actually doing a review at the moment at RGT of a Skylake motherboard. Um, we're buying a couple of bits and pieces for it. We've got all of it here and we've done the principal photography, so we're going to be reviewing the Skylake ourselves. And hopefully as well, we're going to be reviewing X99 and a few other bits and pieces over the next couple of days. One of the reasons I've not been uh, producing so much content because I've just been rather busy. As well as I'm also putting together a few, I guess you could say, technical analysis breakdowns as well. Unfortunately, it requires quite a bit of research. 
um, on this particular one rather than kind of just knowledge I've already got. It requires that plus me going through back catalogues of all the stuff that I've done previously. So that's going to be fun. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'm going to get going for now. Um, so if you could do the likey, commenty, subscribe -y thing, assuming you're not already subscribed. If you are, then I greatly appreciate it. And I'm sending you internet cookies and love. Anyway, I'm going to get out of this before anyone considers me stalking you. So, bye for now.